okay, well, you know, you started off at Disney. Yes. Doing Disney. Yes. <laughs> and now you've written the script for Life Itself. Uh, it's, there's been a progression here. Um, <laughs> there's misdirection in this movie. There's yeah. some surprises. What did you set out to do when you, when you started writing the script? Um, you know, I think I set out to... A, make an entertaining movie that will take the audience on a ride inside of a movie theater and really make them kind of pay attention and kind of be surprised uh, as the movie goes along. I think thematically, you know, I am clearly chasing something. I think we live in a really complicated place right now as a, as a country and as a species of, uh, of that's very dark and it's very hard and it's very difficult. So I think the movie is, while it's funny in places, it's also very hard and difficult things happen to likable people. And I think... Uh, symbolically, like I think that's part of our experience in the world right now. But the message of the film is that there is also optimism and beauty and romance and hope and love. And I think at times like we're in right now, it can be very easy to forget that, especially if you kind of log on to the internet and just read anything. And so uh, I think that was part of the point. I agree with all you said, and you've definitely accomplished that. So when you got the script and you read it, did all of that come through? Absolutely, yeah. I, I found it to be such a breath of fresh air. I just also really admired how ambitious it was. It was, it wasn't you know picking a lane so to speak in terms of tone or story. It was it was taking on this massive concept of life and its ups and downs and its humor and its heartbreaking nature. And I just thought, this is great because I. I'm just, I'm, I'm always reading scripts that just take on one tone and one tiny sliver of the kind of human experience and here's this thing that's, that's really being ambitious and open-hearted towards the whole thing and I loved that. Yeah, I, I agree. That misdirection really got me um, in the screen last night. We all, if you ac wanted to accomplish Surprise. everybody thinking and walking out of the theater in tears, you, you accomplished <laughs> yeah. that. And I think um, it's because each one of us was taking something away differently from the movie, depending on what our life story has been so far. Yes. What do you, each of you, I know you wrote it, but I'm, I'm sure you take something different than what I take away from it. So what do each of you take away from this movie? I mean, my, 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 I come at the perspective I don't have children um, yet, so my perspective, I come at it as a son. Um, you know, I come at it as a son who's lost a parent. That's probably my entry point into the film. I also come at it, I come at it as a husband who loves his wife intensely. And so those are kind of my two access points, but I think, like you said, every person has a different point of entry into the film, depending on what their life is like. I just love the kind of the perspective it allows to zoom out and mm. realize that we are just supporting players in someone else's narrative. And I, it made me think about, you know, my parents, my parents' parents, and my children, but I was just like, oh God, we walk around just thinking of ourselves as being in focus, when really, it, you know, that's just our perspective. So it really was kind of a philosophical perspective gaining experience to read it and to perform in it and certainly to watch it. And we, there's different chapters in this movie. Mm -hmm. So we see different chapters and Olivia kind of touched on the fact how we all kind of, we can all affect, like this, we can be affecting each other right now. Yeah. In, in, in what's gonna happen in the rest of our, our lives. So how difficult was that for you, shooting in different places mm -hmm. and then we, we moved to a different language yeah. even? It was very challenging. I mean, it was, uh, it was making any film is hard, making a film where half of it is in a different language that you're not fluent in necessarily is is challenging. Um, so <laughs> um, we shot the first half of the film in New York and we moved to Spain with an entirely Spanish cast and crew uh, for the second half of the film. And so, you know, it's it's challenging. It's also, it was also the point. And so um, a lot of the things that were the most challenging in the film, the fact that there is no main character, the fact that the stories kind of fly through time and you're seeing snapshots of different lives at different moments, you're telling one big story, you're telling one big story in two different languages. So the challenges of the movie were also the parts parts of the point. And so, um, so when you were really tired and not understanding what people were saying to you in Spanish, that tr you tried to give yourself that perspective. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.